today I want to cook chicken quesadillas for me and my daughter. So I'm going to start off by fixing the chicken breast. We we'll wash it off. I was sitting here thinking, what should I do, you know? What should I do to um make a content? And I say, well, I'm going to go ahead and fix the chicken quesadillas. So, here I am fixing the chicken quesadillas. Six thirty alarm. I gotta take my kitty back. Rinse these guys off. I'm gonna cook about. I'm gonna fix about three or four a piece. Get all the moisture out of them. Yeah, I want to make these real good. I haven't tried them before. Well, I haven't made them before, so this is my first time making them. I'm gonna cut them up and season them first. Got my onion powder, my garlic pepper, Pepper, turmeric, paprika. Seasoning salt. And that's it. Start with my onion powder. Seasoning salt. Paprika. I got some paprika up here. Yep. I'm gonna use the garlic powder instead of the garlic pepper. Then I'm using turmeric. Away, but my table is far, and I don't have a ring light. I have to use what I have. Oh, I'm putting 
putting this up. I'm not even doing it. Got to do the other side. Talking to you guys, I got distracted. Anyway, back at it, the paprika. Pepper. Garlic powder. Garlic powder. Season this out. Onion powder. And I'm not going to use any more turmeric because turmeric, it brings your blood pressure down. I already used some on the other side, so I'm not going to use it. Now I can put these guys up. Put my seasonings back. Okay. So now, it's all seasoned on both sides. I'm about to cut it. so easy. Yeah. I had a taste for the chicken quesadillas for like three days now. I told you guys in my last video, I'm craving a lot of stuff. No, I'm not pregnant. Can't get pregnant. And if I do, I'm going to sue somebody and it's going to the museum. Just cut it up real good. My daughter so loud if you hear in the background I just told her I was finna do a video and she's still hollering so please excuse her she a little bit off her rocker right now as if she didn't hear me tell her I was finna do a video Some people just don't care. After I just explained to her, I'm finna do a video. She in there hooping and hollering. These chicken tenders are little. I had to pull this off. Long piece. I'm trying you guys to get these contents out to you guys as much as possible. I wash my dishes up as I go along so I won't have these dishes. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm gonna put this in the bowl. So I have to cut up my bell peppers and onions. My daughter wants bell peppers and onions in it. So I have to cut up my bell peppers and onions. So I'm putting the chicken in the bowl, washing it off really good. Washing off the cutting board. You guys use bleach in y'all water? If not, you should. Sterilize everything. You don't know what people be doing with their mouth. You don't want germs and bacteria and stuff. You know, don't just use dish liquid to clean your dishes. Sanitize your stuff. Yeah, I wipe off all my stuff. I even dry my sink out after every use. Clean my towels. I'm clean my towel, man, so. Big or small the green peppers. I'm gonna make a medium size. Cause I want to taste them, taste the green peppers. I'm gonna use a little piece of the green pepper. Here. Yeah, I got a taste for a whole lot of stuff. And I told you, I I be cooking at home instead of I cook at home instead of um. ordering out or going out to eat like trying to save my money this is how you save your money cook at home so you can save this is my first cooking guy uh my first cooking video with you guys and i hope you like it You know, I'm pretty not much a talkative person, 
I pretty much stay to myself. I mingle, don't get me wrong. I'm a people person, but I'm pretty much to myself. Don't like drama and chaos. I like socializing and mingling. I'm going to cut a little bit of this onion. We don't need much of the onion. I got acid reflex, so I really can't eat onions. I love onions. I love the taste of them. Grilled onions, I love them. But they don't agree with me. Not since I got acid reflex. Wash this off. Cold water. I don't want to be crying over here. I'm going to cut these medium size too. Can't afford to cut myself. I got to be careful. I'm on blood thinners. And the reason why I'm on blood thinners As I told you on my very first video, I had three strokes. I have one brain aneurysm, so that's why I'm on blood thinners. Because the blood was so thick, it was seeping in my head, in my brain. Thank God I'm still alive, you guys. Thank God. I made it through three strokes. Asthma and bronchitis, which I have a lot of asthma attacks. I haven't had any recently. But I think they kind of under control now. I also have a degenerated disc disease of the, spr of the spine where I can't sit too long, stand too long, walk too far. But I'm building up my strength from the stroke, from the heart repairment, and the three strokes. So I'm working hard. Yes, I'm working very hard. I'm doing it, you guys. I'm getting there. So now, I got the flour, the flour tortillas, and I got the mild cheddar cheese. So now, I'm going to transfer you guys. Hope this season good. Everything I fix is good, though. But I hope it's seasoned really well. I'm going to season my vegetables. Same thing I use. Onion powder. Paprika. 
pepper, seasoning, salt. Not too much, just a little bit. A little pepper. Now that look for the garlic powder. Okay, garlic powder. Yeah, I got a lot of taste buds going on. My taste buds is on fire with all the different foods I want. You know, the other day, I made chicken and biscuits. Chicken and biscuit minis. So that was my brunch, because we didn't eat breakfast. So I had chicken breast, I fried it. I fried it and um, let's let this sit for a little bit. I fried it and um, I got all the stuff on the refrigerator, but excuse it. But anyway, I fried it and um, it ended up being pretty good. I buttered the biscuits. They was nice and fluffy. I'm going to try that again with you guys. It's gonna be another cooking chat. Another cook cooking vlog. Just gotta put a little oil in it anyway. They don't want much oil. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Me fixing chicken quesadillas for the first time. And I ain't got to order it. And I don't have to order it at all. Yeah, right after this, I'm going to be doing some painting and coloring for you guys. I really can color. You know, some of the hospitals got some of my colorings for the kids.
see the pot to I have to sweep real good. Now I'm going to add my chicken in. And finish letting my onions and green peppers saute. Yeah, I love coloring. I'm gonna put these seasonings up. I don't like to, I really don't like to have stuff all over the kitchen. I don't like a messy kitchen when I cook. And I don't like having dishes in the sink either when I'm done cooking. I only want to be able to wash whatever I ate out of, and that's it. Looking good, y'all. Let me show you how I look. Looking good. Just rinsing my bowls out, you guys. Yeah, washing them up. The knife and the cutting board. Cleaning as I go. Yeah, I went to the store earlier and I picked up a big bag of tilapia for 16 bucks. It's a value pack. Let me see.
it's a big old value pack bag, four pound bag for sixteen dollars. Look how big they are. Sixteen dollars. I wanted catfish, but they were small. Yeah, I'm trying to eat right chicken fish. Gotta go get me some turkey. I wanna get some turkey wings. You know it's crazy. I tried to get the tur turkey um slices of turkey for sandwiches or whatever. If I could make me some hoagie sandwiches or regular sausages, I mean, regular sandwiches, but they cut it was cutting too thick. I didn't want it. So I'm on a kick of the turkey, fish, and chicken. And got my vegetables or whatever. Got my salads. Still trying to treat my kidney right, you guys. Yeah, so I went to the grocery store and picked up a few things, you know, from the store. Got my, uh, my daughter wanted pork chops, um, some beef, uh, chicken, I got some fish, um, I got my vegetables, I got some little fruit, um, uh, but I really want peaches and plums and some grapes. So I'm going to go back to the store and get that stuff. Um, I got my vegetables, as I was saying. You know, butter, breakfast food. My daughter, she, um, she put the food up. Where I sat there because I was a little tired. You know what my low blood, with my blood, blood, uh, red blood cell count, I get a little tired, so I have to rest, uh, often. So I'm trying to get my red blood cells up. If you guys know. What I can do and what I can take with fruits and vegetables or herbs, you know, not no pills, that I can use to bring my red blood cells, you know, my red blood cell count up. Comment in the the, the comment below. I'm really trying to get my red blood cells up. Let me look, show y'all. Yeah, it's about noon. So now, I'm going to get a plate and put this on. Let me rinse it off.
wash this pan back out, this skillet. I'm gonna wash this back off. Bring my pan. Take that off right. Spray my pan and get. One and two tortillas. Cheese ready. quesadillas today. We're going to have it with some sour cream. Should have put a little rice in it, but I'm good. Next time I'll try it with a little rice in it. I wonder how it tastes with a little Spanish rice in it. I'll fix that next time. So do you all cook a lot at home or do you order out a lot? If you guys do, you need to save your money and cook at home. Stuff is so high nowadays, you know, ordering out and where it is no more. This have food out here. Yeah, it's getting 
a little brown. A little bit chicken in there. Flip this. Woo! Spatula, honey, spatula. Flip this. Chicken on this one. Except this one. Turn the fire down. Spray my pan again. Hope y'all enjoying my cooking video. I think I'm going to cook three a piece and then I'll be done. Okay, you guys. I'm done. This is the outcome. We got the sour cream. This is the outcome of the chicken quesadillas. 
Got the sink all cleaned up. Dishes all out the sink. Stove clean. And I'm out. Mm -hmm.